In this video, I'll teach you an exercise that you can do at home using a resistance band. Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's Mighty Muscles. On this channel, I focus on effective fitness tips with efficiency. And on this video, I'm gonna teach you an exercise that you can do at home using a resistance band. But before we get into the exercise, I'm happy to announce that I'm gonna be starting a mini series where every fortnight, I'm gonna upload a video showing an exercise or exercises that you can do at home using a resistance band. Now, if you already have some resistance bands, that's perfect, you can use them. But if you don't, then I would highly recommend investing in some resistance bands so that you can follow along and practice the exercises that I'm gonna be showing you on this series. So I have two different types of resistance bands. I have this yellow one, which is a bit thinner, so it's less resistance. And I also have this blue one, which is a bit thicker, so it's more resistance. And that's all you'll need for this series, a thicker one and a thinner one. But obviously, if you want to invest in more resistance bands, that's perfectly fine too, but it's not essential for this series. So today's exercise is gonna be a face pull. And I'm gonna show you two different variations, one using the resistance band, and two using the resistance band as well as a broomstick. So if you have a broomstick laying around somewhere, I highly recommend grabbing it, but if you don't, then it doesn't matter because both variations will work perfectly fine. I'll just quickly add that the reason why I recommend using a broomstick as well is because I feel it's much easier to keep your arms at a 90 degree angle, as well as focus on external rotation of the shoulder. So bringing your hands back past your head. But it all depends on your preference. So if you prefer just using a resistance band, just use a resistance band. So for this video, you're gonna need something that you can hook your resistance band up to. So I'll quickly show you my setup. So what I've done is I've screwed in some hooks into my drawers, one up here and also one down close to the ground. So if you want to have a setup like that, then that's cool. If you don't want to have a setup like that, that's also cool, but you're still going to need something that you can hook your resistance band up to. I would highly recommend not using a door handle because after some time the screws will loosen off and eventually the door handle will come off. Trust me. Instead, find something that's sturdy and loop it around like I'm showing here. So this is what the exercise looks like when it's being performed and I'll cover a few different tips to help maximize the effectiveness of the exercise shortly. But the reason why I'm kneeling on the ground is because where the resistance band is either hooked to or tied to, you want to be at about eye level. So my hook is a little bit lower, hence the fact I'm on my knees. But it doesn't really matter if you're on your knees or if you're standing up straight. Now the first tip, doesn't matter if you're standing or kneeling, is that you want to be in a posterior pelvic tilt. So you want to try flatten out your lower back. Next, you want to relax your upper traps. So you don't want to be shrugging, you want to be relaxing your traps and bringing your shoulders down. And lastly, when you're in the end position, you want to really focus on pulling your hands behind your head, so you're externally rotating the shoulders. The reason why this exercise is so good is because it works all the muscles in your upper back, as well as opening up your chest and improving posture. To get the most benefit out of this exercise, you want to focus on quality over quantity. So slow and controlled movements, holding the end position for anywhere between three to 10 seconds, and really focusing on pulling your hands as far back behind your head as you can. In terms of reps and sets, you can do this exercise daily and just do a few sets of 10 good quality reps. So that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed. Now make sure to subscribe to my channel and come back next Sunday to see my next video and then the following Sunday to see the next video of this series. I'll see you then.